Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, we're back again doing another tutorial and today we're going to be doing this awesome big giant manor house that you see right behind me. Technically, it's a Minecraft mansion. We're going to be doing this right now. I'm here in my source block SMP server and everyone's been asking me to do that big old manor house and I'm going to be doing it today. If you guys want to see that uh, other building right behind me, that big giant barn, let me know in the comment section with hashtag barn. I might do that next, but today Let's get this started. We're gonna be doing this giant big old large mansion right now block for block. Let's go All right, let's get this started with the block palette. So starting from left to right We're gonna be using some stripped spruce logs some oak strip log some oak planks stairs We're also bringing in some spruce We're also bringing in a little bit of dark oak just for the trim on the roof Some bricks for the bottom layer and some stones so we can get a nice little chimney going as far as the outline, it's this. It's a monster. It's a huge house, but you got it all laid out with wool. Every time you see a log, we're going to be placing a log in that spot. So pause the screen, count the blocks. You're looking at it. We're going to work it out one step at a time. Let's go. All right, let's get it started right here. This is going to be our front uh, porch to get up, but we're going to have stairs to get up from this side and from that side. We're also going to have side porches here to get into those little sides there, but let's go one at a time and let's get it started. So we're just going to go up with our uh, strip spruce logs for now and then work everything out together. So let's actually start right in the front and let's start right in this log right here. We're going to take this log up by four. So let's go up one, two, three, and four. Right here on the bottom, we're just going to take this one up by two and then this one by one. So let's take this one to step one and two, right on this corner, we're gonna go up again by four. Let's go two and one. Here we're gonna take it down this way, one, two, three, four, five. And here we're gonna go up by four, also space two, up by four, and then do the same thing we did in the front. So up by two here, and one, two, and one. So it's gonna look like this. Let's go on the third one, one, two, and three, and cross beam at that level right there. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a step up here with some spruce. And we're going to go up just right at this line. So one, two, and three. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to go one, two, and three. Right here, we're going to go with some slabs of our spruce. And we're just going to cover up this side right going down this way. Also right at the line right there where our two beams meet. Now, now that we have that, let's go to the next step. So we're gonna go right next to this log. We're gonna go ahead and attach it and go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's leave it at eight for now. This is uh, gonna pretty much take care of the whole first floor. So take it up by eight right there. I'm gonna give it a space of three. Let's go up as well by eight right there for now. Then we're gonna go ahead, let's lay out all of our logs first, okay? So we're up by eight here. Now, this one that you're seeing right next to it, this one, we're also gonna take it up by eight. So go all the way up and match that bit. Then we're gonna give it a space of one, two, three, up by eight. Space of one, two, and three, also up by eight. Space of three, up by eight. Another space of three, and again, up by eight. So we're gonna take these logs right here. It's gonna be a step down to this one. So it's super simple. We're just gonna go up one and two and one. Now let's repeat this thing right on the back end. So come with me. We're going right from this corner right here. This one, the actual log we just placed right next to it. Give it a space of two, up by eight. Now space of three, again, space of three, also eight, space of three, up by eight and another space of three up by eight. This little step down again, two and a one right here at this level. Then let's go ahead and turn this corner. So right from this log, we're gonna give it a space of one and then again, up by eight. This one's gonna be a space of one, two, three, four, five. And then right here on the six, again, up by eight. So all of these are up by eight for now. It's gonna go taller, but for now, let's get it there. So one, two, three, four, five. And then right here on this corner, Again, guessed it, right by, up by eight. So it's gonna look like this for now. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and go again. Mi exact mirror job you see over there is gonna be super simple. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. And right in this corner, matching that pillar, up by eight. Then we're gonna go one down to the side, exactly like that one. And this corner, again, up by eight. And then let's do the same thing we did over there. So three, taking this up. Three, up again three again and up again another up by eight right on this corner right over here so everything's matching 
Now we're gonna do the same thing again over here and take this one down, one and two, and then up by eight, right there. Oop, oh, hold up, there we go. Another three spacer, again, another three, one more time. Let's take it again, another three, and then another three, right here. Now to match what we did on the other side, come back down this way, and it's gonna be a step up here, so one and two, and one, one and two, and one. So, so far, so good, everything is matching. Now we just gotta do what we did over there on this side. So come with me, we're gonna go out one more, uh, well, one in from this log, up by eight as well. Give it a space of three, going this direction, up by eight. Is that eight? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> then one, two, three, four, five, up by eight. Give it a space of three, one more time. Now we're gonna turn it outwards this way, just like we did over here. So we're doubling it up. We're gonna double it up over here. Take it up by eight as well. One spacer, we're going up. Now we're gonna do a little extension here on the outside bit. So a space of one, two, three, four. And right here, we're gonna take this one also up by eight. Then we're gonna give it a three spacer up by eight as well. Another three space up by eight again. Another three space up by eight one more time. And then we're gonna turn this one, same as the other side, one, two, three, and four on the fifth one, up by eight one more time. Then we're almost done. Now, space of one, up by eight. Go in by one, so we're doubling it up like we did here. So it's pretty much a whole mirror job. You do one side, you're gonna do the other one perfectly. Now here, another three, and then up by eight, right on this part. So we got most of my logs, <laughs> all the way up. Now, we got a couple more on the inside part here. So this is super simple. Once you come on in, this is the front door again. We're gonna see a log over here, so it's pretty much mirroring that one. So we're gonna go one, two, three, take this one up uh, by eight as well. Another three, another up by eight. We're gonna do the same thing on this end. So it's gonna pretty much mirror this line and it's gonna go right here. So it's a space of two from this side, up by eight, and another space of three, and we're gonna take it up as well. All right, so, so far we got our logs stacked up. So next thing we're gonna do is something super simple. I'm gonna show you one time and we're gonna pretty much repeat it all the way around. I'm gonna give it a mix of bricks and granite. We're gonna go up by one, two, and on the third level, we're gonna go with upside down stairs, just like this, and then we can mix it up. For now, I'm gonna do it all in brick. So we're gonna do it on this side. Now, for this one, we're not gonna do it on this level because we're gonna have almost like a little bit you can see underneath. You're gonna take it in on this level. We're gonna go up again, so one, two, and then upside down stairs right on the inside part. So right from here, we're gonna take it on the inside wall. Over here as well, so one, two, and upside down. So we're gonna do this all the way down here. So let's drag this all the way down. There we go, so this part is dragged down all the way and we're gonna stop right here before these stairs go. Now, we're also gonna turn it on this corner, so one, two, and upside down, and then take it out on this end. So one level, two levels, and upside down stairs. And we're gonna just drag this all the way around this direction there we go so this kind of wrapped around right around this edge now what we're going to do is we're going to match what we did over here we're going to do it on this inside wall so right on this line right here all right there you go so this side is all mirrored to the other now we're going to do the same thing we did in the front we're going to do it right on this part so take these up also by two and two and then upside down stairs. So let's wrap this one all the way around as well. All right, perfect. Now that's wrapped around. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this side. So taking it, oh, not with that, with this, taking it all the way down and then upside down stairs. And now let's wrap the rest of the build together. All right, and now the last piece, we're just gonna cover up this back end over here. And I, you don't need to put the upside down stairs. You're really not gonna notice, but you know what? Let's just put it just to keep up with the theme. Also, if you want, give it a little bit of that texture by adding some of the granite. So it looks like the uh, the brick is kind of wasted a little. All right, now that we got that all done, we got the foundation of the house ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and do some cross beams right here. So we're gonna go up one, two, on the third one, right where the stairs are lined up. We're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a cross beam. We're gonna go all the way down, just like so. And then once we have that set up, we're gonna do our little step up over here. So stairs here, right in front of, or next to those logs, another set of stairs, and another set of stairs. And then let's cover up the whole thing right at this level with some of the spruce slabs. And now we're gonna repeat it also on this side. All right, perfect. We have that matching from one side to the next. Now that's looking really, really good. Now, next thing we're gonna do is go up right here to the front and we're gonna start doing cross beams right at this level, right at the top level that we had it all set up. Let's cross beam everything. So we're gonna cross beam to the side. We're gonna cross beam right here from beam to beam. So let's go ahead and wrap this all the way around. Just remember to go right at the top level where we had it, which was level eight. 
All right, there you go. Everything is cross the beamed and is looking really, really awesome. Now, next up, let's start working on the walls connecting in the middle. So right here, we're just gonna go with our oak uh, planks and we're gonna just cover up this whole area right here, top to bottom. We're gonna go ahead and put an upside down stair on the third one and we can leave a little window there. That's perfectly okay. And then we can come back in here and give a little bit of texturing. Just like this by adding some of the stripped oak. In random spots, it's all up to you guys if you want to do it, but that's how I have it set up. Now we're going to do it all the way around here. We're going to go ahead and just, just do everything in oak. So let's go up by four, up by four. We're going to go with a stair and a stair. So it's going to look like this, a two high window. Here we're also going to cover up this part right there on this side. Then on this corner, we're going to go up again. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Now on this side, I'm just going to cover this whole section up. So you're just going to cover it all down like so, and we'll texture after. Over here, we're going to go up again, one, two, three, and four, up by four. We're going to have our stair up and down right there. Leave this one open. We're going to put a big old chimney going up the middle there. And then here, we're going to repeat this one as well. So all the way up and stair up and down right there in that corner. Let's cover up this one as well. So we're going to take this one all the way down and then also cover up this spot. For right here, same thing. I'm gonna take this one all the way up. Let's put a window right here. And the same one on this end. We're just gonna cover up this. Let's go ahead and just put a single window in the center right here. We're gonna put a stair and a stair. Again, we'll texture after. Same thing on this end. We're gonna repeat it. Pretty much a mirror job. Just put some stairs, make a small window over here. On this side, we're just gonna cover up this section up right here. And on this one, we're gonna put the, uh, the, the door on the side. So let's go all the way to the top. I'm going to put a stair on the sec oh on the third one and let's leave a little window there now this is going to be a little bit of a, of a railing but we're going to put windows going all the way down here so let's take this one all the way down and pretty much just mirror what we've been doing straight up planks stairs on the bottom stairs on the top just like so so that's looking awesome now for this side we're going to keep it going we're going to lift this one up as well straight up and here we're just going to make a small window in the center and then same stair up and down just like so and then same over here so we're going to go up by four on each side stair and stair and then on this end we're pretty much just going to repeat exactly what we did over there what's that hole though all right there you go we got this side mirrored to the other side and it's looking really really awesome and it's so simple all you got to do is just repeat these patterns door on this side door on that side windows on the sides here all right now next bit of detail let's go with upside down stairs starting on this corner let's go every other one going all the way down just like so and this is going to give us a nice little trim going down let's go with slabs in between going all the way down this way and then let's turn it this direction so let's go upside downs every other one let's do these two and then let's come back this way so upside down stairs going all the way down here's going to be a little bit of a weird transition but it's fine because we're just going to slab these little gaps going down like so then let's take it back down this direction so upside down stairs every other one coming back this direction like so let's go ahead and give those slabs in the gaps come back this direction so starting from here upside downs remember these are going to be two slabs and another one here and then just go every other one going all the way down pretty much mirroring what we did on the other side and then coming back with our slabs now from this direction we're going to go with a uh, upside down stair upside down stairs so it's going to be a little bit of an l there that's fine we're going to put a slab here and then keep going with your upside down stairs going all the way down slabs in the gaps come back the other way so upside down stairs there everyone with slabs on these two and then on this corner we're just going to go with an upside down stair here and a slab on the side just like so now in this corner we're going to go with an upside down stair in this corner slab and then come back this way let's go ahead and put upside down upside down and then two slabs in between we can repeat it also on this side so upside down and upside down we already have that little gap there that's fine but then we got a little slab in between all right now for this front part we're going to go with stairs but facing down right here every other one going down like so then we're going to grab slabs we're going to put those in the gaps at the lower level like this then we're going to grab our fences let's go with fences right here on this edge we're going to take our fences up one two and three we're going to go one two and three and then we're going to place our campfire blocks right here one two and three and let's go all the way down going this direction now once we have that set up we're just going to go ahead and put some of our trap doors on the outer edge right there 
and then let's grab some fence gates and we're going to take it all the way down here so three here one two three four five here and then three more on this side so we have this cool little railing look to it which is awesome but actually on the last one we can go ahead and put a uh a fence here and take this one all the way down let's take this one all the way down to give it a little bit more support so it's going to look like this and then on this side we're going to go with fences in uh every other one and then gates in between. So we have that little bit of support right there, which looks really, really cool. And then we're gonna gri grab our fence and just take these down and take these down on this side. Also repeating, taking those down on this side. Now let's come back here and let's make a railing out of this one. So there's two options. Initially, what I did was I had fences and gates in between. You could take that down all the way, which looks cool and it's easy to get. Or you could do later on, I did upgrade this and I have lecterns going down like so going down this way and we have this railing look which is awesome it looks great from this side but from the other side you do see those little books on there but it's all up to you guys i'm gonna go with this though just to make it look a little more interesting and then we're gonna go with upside down stairs every uh corner log like so going all the way down and then we're gonna go ahead and put our trap door in between in those gaps then let me go ahead and repeat this on the other side as well all right, there you go. This side is repeated to the other and it's looking awesome. A little little things you could do is so just some fences going down on this end and also some fences going down on this end, just like that. Now, another thing we could do is right here, let's go ahead and cross beam right here on this edge. And this is gonna give us a nice little bit of detail from underneath when we're passing through. And that looks awesome right there. And then we're just gonna fill in the gaps right here with some of our spruce. So let's do this real, real quick. All right, now that we have those cross beams, it's looking really awesome. Now, another thing that I want to do is I'm going to put a fence and a gate. We're going to do fence and gate going all the way down like this. We can actually hang some lights from that, and it gives us this cool little look. And then I'm going to go ahead and repeat that on the other side. All right, there you go. We got that matching on both ends, and then we'll hang some lanterns after in a little bit. Now, let's go ahead and start lifting up these logs again. So really quickly, what I'm going to do is let's actually go on the outside part right here. This is going to be one less than these. So this is going to be up by four. So let's go one, two, three, and four, up by four, up by four here, and up by four on this side. Then on the inside part right here, we're going to go up by five. So let's go one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go up by five here, right on the inside part, another up by five, and up by five over here. Now, we're also going to raise the one right in front by five. So this one goes up to five as well. So just these front ones are going to go a little lower. Now, we're going to turn this corner. So uh, next to this one, we're going to take the same logs we did initially. Let's go up by five here. Take this log also up by five. And we're going to lift up everything surrounding this up by five. So let's go ahead and do this one real quickly. The only ones that are going to go up by four are these front bits. So it's pretty much mirroring what we did on the other side. Let's just take this up. All right, there you go. So the only ones that are up by four is one, two, three, uh, four, <laughs> technically. And then everything else is up by five. So what we're going to do is let's lift up every other log that you see on the main side here up by five. So let's take this one up. We're going to take this one also up by five. This corner bit, this one as well, this one as well. So we're all up by five. The only ones we're not going to take up are these because right here we're going to give it a little bit of a, a step up going up to the edge of this. But we're just going to take all these up by five. So let's take this one all the way down. This one as well. I'm going to keep on going all the way around. Everything here is going up. Wait, let me see. Yeah, perfect. We're going to take this one up by five, up again, and then up again right here. So all of these are up by five. We're going to leave these down, leave those corner bits right there by four. So, so far we have it looking like this. All right. Now the next bit is super simple. We're pretty much just going to repeat exactly what we did down here with the windows and everything. We're going to do it on the top. Again, we're going to do it with regular oak planks and then we'll go ahead and switch it up after by giving it a little bit of texture with the oak, uh, with the strip cut. Uh, so right here, we're going to do another set and then we're going to cross beam on the top. So pretty much going to repeat exactly what we did over here. So up by four on each one of those stair up, stair down right here and cross beam on the top. We're going to do the same thing here. So take it up by four cross beam on top. This one here, we're just going to cover it all up because we're going to have a big roof coming up over here. So we're just going to cover up all this cross beam at the top. Do the same thing over here cross beam at the top and just cover up this section. So we don't need any windows over here. Now, once we get to this part again, we're going to take this up and cover up. So this whole wall is going to be covered up. Now here again, we're going to mirror what we did on the bottom. So take it up by four, up by four, stairs up and down, cross beam, same thing here. So we're going to do the same kind of window, 
just like this, matching what we did at the bottom, and then on this side as well. So there you go, that window is matching the bottom windows all the way around, just like so. Now over here, we're gonna do exactly what we did on the bottom, just repeating it on the top. So let's do this real quickly. We're gonna do it on both sides. All right, there you go. This side matching to the other, and it's super simple. We're just repeating the same pattern. And over here, again, we're gonna do exactly the same window style. We're gonna do it on the top. All right, perfect. Everything is matching and it's looking really cool. So we have everything stacked up. We just haven't textured it yet. So next part, what we're gonna do is, let's come in with our stairs again. I'm gonna go upside downs on every other one right here upside downs going back the other direction and then we're going to go with our trap doors in the center covering that up and we have that ready to go then i'm going to grab our lecterns and we're going to go again put these all stacked up and we're also going to throw two on this side now once we get to here uh we'll go ahead and do our roof in a second but let me just repeat this over here on the other side all right, now let's work on the roof. Now, there's also gonna be a tower popping up from the center, but for right now, let's just fill it all out. And if, in case you guys don't want the tower, and we'll pop it in after. So for right now, let's grab our dark oak stairs. And let's start right here in this corner. And we're gonna take this down. So let's overhang that bit. Let's come back this direction. Let's overhang that bit. Let's go with upside down stairs on both. And we're just gonna go up with a simple step pattern going up with our stairs, just like this. So upside downs, forward, upside down and forward. So we get to a center point right here. I'm gonna go with an upside down stair and a stair facing this direction, just like that. And then let's take this all the way down. So right here to the edge, right there. Now, this last one, we can actually cover this up with a full block because you're not gonna really see this edge right here because now what we're gonna do is let's grab our stair. We're gonna put it on this edge right here on the side and then we're gonna take it up from here. So right here is gonna be a full block. Let's cover that up and then this step pattern is gonna be the same as this but just it recessed in by one. And then in the middle here, we can cover this up because you're not gonna see it and let's go with a stair on top. Now we're gonna come back down. Let's do the same thing and we're gonna pretty much meet up back on the other side right here. Uh, and then we're gonna keep going down. And then this is gonna overlap. We're gonna go with a full block hiding that, and then we're gonna go with a stair popping out. So it should look like this. The little middle gaps, we're just gonna cover this up with a spruce. So let's cover all this up right to the center. Once we get to here, we're gonna go with our dark oak slabs and then come back over and let's cover this up, going all the way down like this. So we have the beginning of this cool roof right here. Now, next bit, we're gonna come actually down right from this side. We're gonna actually get a full block on this end. Then we're gonna go with slabs going all the way down right on the top edge, like so. And then from here, we're gonna overhang it by one. And then we're gonna grab our trap doors of our dark oak. And this is gonna go all the way down, connecting to that stair right there. So that's looking cool. Next thing we're gonna do though, we're gonna bring our stair. And actually, we can get rid of that. Let's put the stair going like this, and we're gonna swing this all the way down at this level. And we're gonna overhang that bit, and we're gonna continue and cover this up with our, our dark oak slabs right here on this little overhang. Now this is gonna be repeated exactly on the other side, so that's looking cool. Once we get to this point, we're gonna start working up our stair pattern. So we're gonna go right here at this edge, we're gonna go upside down, going forward and we're just going to keep going all the way up till we get to the center point we should go all the way up until right about here which should be centered to this window right here we're also going to cover up this with a full block and we're going to put a stair facing this direction and just repeat and come back this way so we're going to put steps all the way down it's super simple it's just a simple step pattern till we get back to the other side and it should look like this right here almost and right there to this edge. Take this all the way down, and we're just gonna repeat it. We're gonna go all the way around, and this is gonna overhang right there. Then we're just gonna fill this all in with slabs. So going all the way down, coming back this way, going all the way around, and then once we get to here, we're just gonna go with our uh, trap doors until we connect back to that stair. Pretty simple, we're just repeating what we did on the other side. So over here, we're gonna grab our steps. Go, You can go under on this one, and that overhangs that side. And then this one's gonna come back this direction and overhang this side. And again, super simple. We're just gonna do our simple step pattern, just like we did in this part. Just gonna do it here. It's gonna be one smaller, and it's gonna look cool when we connect them all together. We're gonna go with an upside down stair, stair facing this way. And then super simple, we're just gonna connect everything here with some of the uh, spruce going all the way down. So let's go ahead and connect all this really quick together. 
All right, there you go. So that side is connected with our spruce one side to the next. Now, really super simple. We're just going to go ahead and repeat what we did here. We're going to do it on this side. And then right at this level, we're just going to take these stairs going all the way down and just pretty much repeat exactly what we did here. So let's just go ahead and fill this in. And then in the middle part, we're just going to fill everything up with some spruce. All right, here we go. So I covered this whole thing right here with some of the spruce. Now we're going to work on the tower bit. I'm going to show you exactly where to put it. So starting from this stair, we're going to go. This is already a one. So two, three, four, five, six, and then the log. Now, if you do it from this side, same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the log. And we're going to go right on the inside part of this slab. This box, really super simple, is a seven by seven. So once we put this log here, we're just going to go a space of one, two, three, four, five, another log, one, two, three, four, five, another log, and the same thing all the way around. So a seven by seven box right in this spot right there. Then we're going to do pretty much what we did on the bottom with the brick and we're going to do it though with the plank. So we're going to do this. Let's actually take this already uh, down. Oh, let's take it up by three on all these logs. If you see it, it's going to go right on this edge right here. So up by three and up by three on all these corner bits. So from this step is a one two and then the slab is over there so that's how you know exactly where to put that cross beam and this is the first spot that you can actually start seeing blocks so let's go one level two levels and then upside down stairs here with our oak oh no that's perfect that's fine upside down stairs right here so one two three four and five i'm going to repeat it on this side because you can see it you cannot see it on the other side so we're just going to do it right here upside down stairs going this way and then here we're just going to cover this part up completely with just regular oak we could also do the texturing but we're going to save that for last with putting in some of this stripped oak so something just like so starting out so right here from this stair, you can only see a little bit of that one and this on the top from here we can see one two three so that's looking pretty cool now next up we're going to take it all up a little more let's go up right here another one two three four let's go another one two three and four and then right here we're going to go ahead and bring in our spruce let's bring in uh some of the spruce right on this edge let's go up one two three and four one two three and four one two three and four here stair oh stair on the bottom another stair at the bottom and two stairs one on the top and it's going to look like this we're going to take it up one more on each side and cross beam just like so now this is going to be repeated all the way around so let's take it up another one two three four five cross beam here one two three four and five cross beam here and then cross beam these together and we're just going to pretty much repeat those windows all the way around all right, there you go. Now, the next thing we're going to do is let's bring a little roof this direction. So we're going to go uh, right down this end with our stairs, overhang that side, repeat it over here. So bring our stairs down, overhang it this way. And if you notice right here, this is where our front door is. So we're going to overhang in this direction and we're going to pretty much repeat what we did here. So step ups going all the way up. Super simple step pattern until we get to the center point, which should look like this. Then once we get here, upside down stair, and then stair facing this direction. We're gonna repeat it also on this side. So super simple. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put our spruce down the center. All right, there you go. So super simple, we have it all set up. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, let's put a little window inside here. I'm gonna get rid of these three blocks right here. And then I'm gonna come on this inside. Let's go ahead and put placeholder blocks right underneath right there. Take this one, one up on each side. Let's go with a, a dark oak facing this direction, one facing this direction, get rid of that one, upside down stair, stair facing this direction, and a slab, and we have this window. So now we're just going to repeat it over here on this side. All right, now let's add some windows to this empty spot. You can leave it like this, but adding windows will make it look a lot better. So let's do this. Let's go up right from here. One, two, three. From here, we're going to go down one. Let's get rid of these three. Let's go ahead and put some placeholder blocks underneath as well. So one, two, three. Let's put a log on each side, uh, a dark oak on this side, dark oak here. Get rid of the middle, upside down stair, stair facing forward. Now let's get rid of that one. I'm going to put a dark oak here and a slab. So it keeps that pattern going, looking pretty cool. Then again, one, two, three. Let's get rid of those. I'm going to put some uh, placeholders, two of the logs, get rid of the middle. Let's do the same thing again with the stairs, upside down one facing forward, replace that one and our slab in the middle. And then last one, one, two, and three. We're gonna do our three placeholders. We're gonna put our two logs, get rid of that bit, stair, stair, upside down, 
stair facing forward, get rid of that one, and put that slab down. So we have this. Let's repeat it on the other side. All right, now it's time for this side. Let's go ahead and add those windows. I'm gonna go right from the center, which should be right here, this line, going all the way up. We're just gonna go up back one and two. Right at this spot, I'm gonna knock these three. Let's give it a space of two over here, knock these three. Space of two over here, knock these three. And then let's go ahead and put some placeholder blocks. So we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, three over here. Let's put our beams facing down every other one. Get rid of that little middle one. And let's get rid of the back one as well because we're gonna go ahead and put that dark oak lining. Let's go all the way down, all the way down this way, upside down stairs in the middle. Then we're gonna go with our stairs facing forward. Let's go with our stairs in the back. And exactly like we did on the other side, let's put our slabs in between. And we have this roof pattern. Now next up, let's work on this outside roof here. And this is gonna be only slab. So let's actually take it out right from here. Let's take it right on the outside bit at this level. Then I'm gonna double slab it all the way up until we get to the back, which should end right there. And let's take this all the way down right here overhanging that bit and then double slabs all the way till we get to the very back right there. Then in between, we're just gonna cover everything up with uh, some spruce slabs. All right, there you go. So it should look like this. And then in the middle gaps, I'm just gonna cover everything in here with just some oak. Let's go ahead and do it on this side. And it's also repeated over here on this side. Now from here, we're gonna work on this big old fireplace chimney that I really love. And this one, we're gonna actually start it over here. Let's do everything out of stone brick and we'll texture after. So right here on this corner, I'm just gonna take this up one and two, one and two. I'm gonna put stairs facing inward right here, a stair facing inward right there. Here, I'm gonna take this up. Let's just take it up one, two, three, one, two, and three, another three here. Over here on this one, I'm just gonna take this up one, one, two, and one. Let's go ahead and put stairs on the edges, just like so. And you can modify this and tweak it as you go along. But let's go ahead and lift this up another. Let's go another one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna knock these three out. So six, let's go seven, eight, and let's go nine. I'm gonna go ahead and come in here. Let's cover this up and let's take that bit and cover this up. So we're gonna make a little three uh, by three box right here and just cover up this end. So it's gonna look just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, walls. So let's put walls up here, one on each corner bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a row of our slabs connecting from the top bits like so. And then I'm gonna come back down and here we're gonna make these into upside down. So it's a little easier to first place that and then just come around and just go upside down stairs all the way around giving you this cool little trim and that is it. Now we can come back in here and maybe break up some of these with upside down stairs, random spots going around. And then we can also come back in here and give it a little bit of texturing. But really quick, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna texture everything. We're gonna add some stripped oak and I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit and give it a little bit more life. And also I'm gonna put all the windows up. All right, now everything is coming together so nicely. We're almost done. Now next thing we're gonna do is just gonna cover up these little gaps you see here with barrels. So let's do this one uh, real quick. I'm gonna do it to every single space we have missing up there. And then also what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some spruce trap doors and we're gonna put them next to uh, all of the windows all the way around down here on the side and everywhere. So let's do this one real quick. All right, there it is. We got all of our detailing done. We got all the trap doors done. The windows are ready to go and it's looking really awesome. As far as the outside part of this structure, it is all finished. It's gonna take a lot of wood, a lot of material, but hopefully you guys uh, do enjoy when you add this to your world. But another thing, just so you can see on the inside, uh, as far as the elevation, where you're gonna be putting our flooring, pretty much right at the same level where the door is at. You're gonna put it exactly where the same level where the doors are at. The top floor, again, is gonna go right at the same level where this uh, exit would be. So we got balconies on each side. So that's where you're gonna be uh, the, the level where you're gonna put your floor. Uh, to get up to the second floor, best thing to do is a spiral staircase right in the center bit right here. We can even uh, wrap it around right on the top. And this can actually take you all um, to all two floors. Well, three floors technically, because you have another way you can get up to the top. So you can go for the first floor, second floor, we can even get up here to the tower from here. Uh, but this is the best way to do it, a spiral right here to the back. But really quick, let me go to our source block world and let's get some interior inspiration. 
All right, let's take a quick little spin on the inside here so you guys can get some inspiration if you're gonna be building this in your world. So let's do a quick flip. One thing we uh, wanna see is just in the outside part. If you wanna add more detail, more life to this area, I don't even have this in a flat plane, so we have some different elevation changes. You see it goes back down. This one goes back up over here. Underneath, we have a mix of a bunch of bushes, tall grass, we have flowers and ferns in there, uh, even on the sides here. If we come around to the corner, we have bushes wrapped around all this corner bit here. So not only does the house stand up and uh, stand out, uh, it stands out uh, because of all the details on the outside. So wrapped all the way around, we have it with bushes, with even some sweet berries over there, texture variation going all the way up to that uh, chimney. Be careful, that's gonna hurt. Uh, and then let's go up uh, into this area here. So as we come on in, I have this all completely open, details on the ceiling here with some slabs and some full blocks, a little bit of uh, uh, library corners here, just some bookshelves and books, uh, uh, loom sideways, some barrels here. I have this separated here with a little arch, separated as well this side. So we have this little separation here with our fireplace. Uh, on this end, we have some seats, some more books, some more barrels, some more chests. And this leads up to this little kind of mezzanine thing here. So we got this kind of stepped up into this little spot that you can actually look down from the second floor which is really cool over here we have a big all area just to have a big you know dining room you know dining room table kitchen corner here on the side and we also have some hanging lights here hopefully you guys get some inspiration from this one but you can set it up as you want and as we noticed here a little spiral staircase that i mentioned on the uh in the build you can separate this here and have a little step up to get to the top I have big ceilings here, but you can also have a third floor up there as well. We have some fish tanks, one on each side, and over here we have a little bit of a writing desk, and then you can look over right there on the side, which is really cool. Over here we have this separated, uh, and then pretty much the same separation we see on the bottom floor, we did it on the top, and then here kind of separated the room. Uh, this is our big master bedroom. Oh, I forgot I had all that in there. Uh, so over here we have a big master bedroom, uh, some uh, big old king size bed over here with a nice bed frame, and a little bathroom bathroom here on the side which looks really really cool uh, I can remember to take those out and then over here on the side just some shelves uh, our little table our first saddle right there really cool and this leads up to another spiral this spiral takes us up to the top top floor uh, and then up here we have ourselves a little area here a map of our western town a bunch of details here on the side and then on this edge we just have a little bit more uh, you know a little bit more stuff here just some barrels uh, stacked up to the top with some hat racks right there and then this takes us up to the tower bit that we have up here this is almost like a little servant quarter area that we have just some more uh, chests, more barrels more details a little writing desk on the side but that's it that's the uh, hopefully you guys got a little inspiration and then we have little ways up right there a little way down we can just jump down every single time we wanted to and have ourselves a nice little spot to get out but that's it that's all there is to it hopefully you guys did enjoy the tutorial for my western style big old giant mansion over here on the source block sir i just broke that but hopefully you guys did enjoy let me know if you want to see any other builds around here maybe that barn i know a lot of baby people been asking for that barn tutorial but i'm out of here for now thank you all so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed and if you do add this to your world let me know send me pictures either on twitter discord instagram i would love to see this huge giant mansion in your worlds but i'm out thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you on the next episode or tutorial or let's build <laughs> all right see you guys later goodbye